So Tuesday is finally here, which means it is time for another Destiny video, and this video is going to be about the weapons I am actually using in Season of the Defiance. Or the Lightfall DLC, take your pick on whatever you want to call it, is effectively the same thing. So a while back I actually made a video on the top 5 weapons I actually wanted from the Lightfall DLC, and I did kind of cheat with some Season of the Defiance weapons. My taste has kind of changed now, because with the addition of the raid weapons, which I'm pretty sure you can see in the power weapon at the minute, my opinion has slightly changed, especially since I've used some other weapons. I haven't had the pleasure of using the auto rifle from the Rager or the Trials SMG, so forgive me on that, I probably will change my opinion again when I get them, but for now this is what I'm thinking. So I'll start with the equipped one, which is Bry's Contempt. This is the new linear fusion rifle that you can get from the raid. And yes, it is crafted because I've been quite lucky with red borders when it comes to this. I think the Bry's Contempt was actually the first weapon I got. And needless to say, it does quite a bit of damage. But what actually makes this weapon amazing for me is the other roll that I've got. And it's actually one of the first rolls I ever got, which is this one right here. This one actually rolled with Reconstruction and Focus Fury. Now, I've never seen a linear fusion rifle being rolled with reconstruction, so I got curious about this. And for those who don't know what reconstruction is, it basically allows the weapon to reload itself slowly and it will go to double capacity, so kind of like how overflow works. The only problem with this combination of a roll is that I've got to fire off half the magazine for the precision damage to actually slowly increase, which if reconstruction is activated and charged it all the way to 10, that means I have to fire five shots before this activates. Hence why if you have fourth time to the charm, it does work a lot better because that means you can fire off three shots, Focus Fury will then activate and then you'll also get another one in the mag when your fourth burst is hit. So whilst it's not the perfect roll, it still is very good, especially because of its origin trait, which is harmonic resonance, which basically means if you have multiple weapons equipped from that raid, you will actually have better reload speed and handling on all of them. Not to mention, it is the perfect weapon for taking down Tormentors. I have melted Tormentors so many times using this, it is unreal. But that's not the perks I want to talk about. There is another perk you can get from the raid weapons, which I got on my grenade launcher. And no, this isn't a weapon I frequently used. I genuinely don't like it, but you can use it. It is decent enough. But the perk I'm on about is Paracausal Affinity, and this is quite nice. And the best way I can describe it is it works like Parasite. You get kills with other weapons and then start using a weapon that has this, it will have increased damage. The only caveat to this is if it is a light weapon, i.e. Solar, Void, or Arc, then you need to be getting kills with light weapons. On the reverse, like for this grenade launcher, I'll have to get kills for Strand and Stasis instead. But that is the first weapon I am currently using, so we're going to move on to another one, which is the Circular Logic Machine Gun, and I am still a massive fan of this machine gun because it just rips through ads like nothing. And I mean, sure, it's not the fastest firing machine gun out there, but this definitely hits like a train. And the fact that its origin trait is nanotech tracer rockets is even better because that basically just gives you an additional shot, which is even stronger. Couple this with Envious Assassin that I showed on the other video for weapons I wishlisted, and you can see why I love the machine gun. Of course, I am yet to get my wishlist of roll of this, but here's hoping to the future that it will come to me. Third weapon, which is a bit of a surprise entry, actually, because I did not expect me to be using this, and I'll be I've only got 140 kills with it. The final warning sidearm. Now, this little thing actually surprised me because something that I feared did actually happen, and that is it can actually hit pretty hard and not to mention you can lock on targets with this you basically have an auto firing pistol that deals a quite a nice amount of damage and when i was first using this on neomuna i was surprised it was doing more damage than most of my other weapons so yeah there was quite a shock and i think it's mostly to do with this perk pick your poison which basically makes the weapon a bit multi-purpose so for example if you have marked a target by holding down the trigger and then shooting your burst if you were then to start hit firing at them as well you would actually do increased body shot damage and as the other perk says if you aim down the sights and shoot this when they are marked you will deal extra damage for the critical hits and considering the fact that i was always bursting this first and then just shooting it normally that is probably why it was doing so much damage but let's move on to the fourth weapon which is the second surprise entry the quick silver storm and with one and a half thousand kills, you can tell I've been using it a fair bit because it actually is a nice complement to my strand build, which I'm going to be going over in a later video because I'm still in the process of perfecting that. But yeah, ever since Lightfall came out, this thing became absolutely insane because you can now use it to its full functionality. Back when this was just a pre-order weapon, you could only really fire it as an auto rifle and it would fire off an occasional micro rocket, which was good in its own sense, but it wasn't its full potential. Because now there is a catalyst for the Quicksilver Storm, which changes the damage type to Strand. And not only that, final blows with grenades from this, i.e. its special firing mode, which is done by holding down the reload button. If you get kills with those grenades, it now creates tangles, and tangles are the weird things that you can throw and cause explosions. But needless to say, this has elevated the weapon up to a very good weapon, and again, it's something I use very frequently in my Strand build, because it's generally a good ad clear weapon, and it complements Strand in its own way. The final weapon I am using at the moment is Synchronic Roulette, and this is another one of the Lightfall weapons, it is the SMG, so the lesser firing mode. I know there is a Trials one that does 750, which I'm eager to get my hands on because I have a feeling it's going to be better than this, but 
At the moment, this one is doing me pretty well, because not only does it have the nanotech rockets like the machine gun has, it also comes along with a perk called Hatchling, which allows you to spawn Threadlings. And if you don't know what a Threadling is, it's the weird green shark things that you can see swimming through the land and blowing up enemies. Obviously, this isn't my perfect role of it, it is just something I got on the fly and I've just used it and quite enjoy using it. And just as a last minute bonus, this is another weapon I want to incorporate into my solar builds when I get a craftable version of it. Acacia's Dejection, it's a trace rifle from the raid, which means it has harmonic resonance, and I think it can also roll with power causal affinity. And with Bryce Content being a solar linear fusion rifle, I think these two are going to pair really well. But this specific role is Reconstruction and Frenzy, which I'm really looking forward to trying, because that means it's going to have a magazine of 208. But that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please let me know what you guys are using in the comments below, because I'm curious to see where the community sits with these weapons. But I will see you all in the next video.